Greetings fellow PC Gen enthusiasts, this is Andrew once again, uh, Data Monkey for PC Gen, uh, leading you through a homebrew tutorial on how to make your own homebrew additions. In our first video we went over the PCC file uh, and how that all interconnects and works with the files. Today we're going to go over the list files themselves. A great resource is going to be your PCGen documentation. There are two locations for the PCGen documentation. One is already installed in your computer under uh, the documentation folder. You can access that um, from the help menu in PCGen. Uh, the other is online. We have our latest and greatest uh, on our www.pcgen.org here under the auto builds and PCGen docs. And I've already loaded it up to the initial uh, list files. But if you were to go here, this is the opening screen right here. You go to your list files, list file tag index, and that will bring up the various list file groupings. As you can see, it goes by ability, ability category, armor proficiency, class. So there are specific uh, tags that only work in specific file types, as it were. And then we have the master category. Um, our documentation team has done an excellent job of making sure that you can tell when a certain tag is only going to work in a certain location. Like ability list is only going to work in uh, the miscellaneous info. And technically that also works in the ability category uh, file. So that needs to be updated. Skill for AC check. You can click on any of these. These are a hyperlink to go directly to them. And as you can see, it will bring up the various information you're going to need to know about each tag. Um, this is an, an invaluable tool to use. OK, we've already gone to our data folder. We're already in my homebrew. I'm going to pull up my feats. And this is an older version. This is uh, pre-60. So we're going to go ahead and just remake skill focus today. So <clears throat> the first thing we enter is the feet name. No spaces at the end. This will cause issues. Also, no spaces in front. That will also cause issues. We always want to end on either a period, a character, or um, what have you. But spaces will cause issues. Everything is tab delineated here. As you can see, I have tab markings up on my list editor here, so I can see where my tabs and where my spaces are. That's a little tip of the trade there. Type in feats is a categorization here. You have your general. We can make this a fighter feat if we have that set up. You can name these whatever you want. It really won't affect anything. If, unless you hide these though, they will display in the user interface. So you will have a group of general, fighter, my custom, and uh, list editor test. Okay, the next thing you're going to want, since it's in our order here, this is the description tag. This is going to describe the feet. Uh, in the books, you get a short description, and this tag is actually meant to handle the short description. Um, the long description technically is supposed to be by the benefit tag. Um, you can toggle between the two, and in later versions, I've actually set up the OS to display both of these. Um, so you can do long description here. Now, this is going to be a choose type feed. So we need the molt yes. So we can take this multiple times. Without the molt, uh, the choose will not work. We're going to do choose skill. Now, this is where your list tag index is going to come in handy. So I'll show you how that would work. We go navigate to choose. Click on that. And you can see all the various choose we have here. Anything with a deprecated after it 
means that this is slated to be removed from the program. Something better, bigger, newer, awesome coolness has come along. Unless you're using uh, equipment modifier, you want to click on the one that says global. Click on that one. And the formats are usually X's, Y's, and Z's, and this explains the format. As you can see, it can be quite convoluted here. Um, just It takes a little bit to get used to it. We do give you examples below. Uh, in this case, you can choose a list of skills that your character has ranks in. Um, however, we're going to do, just for the heck of it, type, oops, type knowledge. So this would actually become a skill focus for only knowledges. So you need to understand how that would work. You go in here, double check this, type, and then the skill type. And then you can do a negation. So anything that's not of that type. If we look up here, this is the old style types right there. And that references the skill type. So this is going to look in the skill file and look for anything with those types. <coughs> and for the longest time, type period and type equals are pretty similar. Uh, you can do control H in this program, find, replace. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty handy. Uh, the find replace tool will become your friend. Okay. So now that we've gotten that, we want to tell the program what to do with the choose. Otherwise, it's just going to display what we choose uh, in parentheses after the skill name. So in this case, oops, caps lock off, bonus skill, and above you have list. There's actually the variation here, that's list, and then three, two, or whatever you want to put in there and you can add a type to this. A type designates that bonus and it follows the stacking rules unless it's a special uh, stacking list uh, rule like dodge. <coughs> this will prevent it from stacking if somebody else gets another similar type later. So you can do no stack or skill focus or whatever you want to put on there. Uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, but if you're going to use something similar, make sure that if you're coming along and you're going to do another feat that does a similar type of thing, you use the same type. Otherwise, you will have the stacking issue. Now, if I do want this to stack, I just add dot stack. And that would be found under our documentation. We go to our choose tags. And you have your global choose tag prefixes, uh, we've got num number of choices, and then finding my location again. There it is. Place all that be under the bonus statements. One second. Let that do that thing. Well, it's thinking about it. And the bonus tags is where the bonus types. Uh, each bonus, typeless, which means we don't have a type. Your standard, the replace, and then the stack. And then it goes on to explain each of these on how they work. So whenever you're using a bonus tag, this is where you'd reference it. Because we are using a bonus tag right here. That's the first part, and then the second part. Now let's go ahead and look at bonus skill and see what I'm actually doing here. So the bonus skill, list is the designator. That should be allowed to take a, uh, a wild card list. I'll have to double check. And you can see it's comma delimited. So I can do do the list 
and I could add knowledge crafting if knowledge crafting does exist. If it doesn't exist, you're going to get an error when you load the program up. So if you take the feet, now you get knowledge crafting. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. And then if you want to be official and make it easy for your players to find out where this feed is, if you're actually using a source book, you put in the page number. If this is custom, you just put in custom. Or you can just submit the entire thing. That's up to you. So that is inputting a basic feat. Now, if you have two feats with similar names, you're going to cause a conflict. PC Gen will do its best to use the newer version uh, if you have that option selected. If you don't have that option selected, it's kind of up in the air of which version you're going to get on any given load. So, in order to avoid conflicts, we have what's called the key. The key must be a unique name for all the things that you are loading up. So if I just leave this skill focus, that's the same as leaving that there and that one there. So we can go skill focus tiddly D here, skill focus special. So now this one is going to be skill focus special. If I ever need to reference that feet in particular, like I need to pre-feed it, I would do pre-feet skill focus special. And that references the key. That is just how it's going to display. Now if I want to go with the older style, I can do an output name and call it Magister Skill Focus or however I want this to display. Um, so that is how you set up a feat and how you reference a feat. Going on, skills. We have sleight of hand is the one that's set up here. Sleight of hand is the name of the skill. That's what's going to display unless you do output name again. My amazing skills is what would display then. The key stat is referenced by the abbreviation in the game mode. We use the standard abbreviations, strength, dex, con, int, wisdom, and charisma. This designates whether you can use it untrained. If there is a no, then this will not appear until you gain your first rank in it. Even if you were to bonus this with a bonus skill tag, it will not appear until you have one rank, which references that the character has taken training. The A check is armor penalty check, and that determines whether this character is going to be penalized for wearing any type of armor. So when um, an armor has the ACC penalty applied, this yes or no tag, or double tag, will determine whether they, they get the penalty or not. And then we have our synergies. Our synergy, so you have your bonus skill, you reference the skill name or key. You can use keys anywhere. How much you're going to get, so two, and then it's referencing another skill. And this is going to be a synergy and it's going to stack. And then the source page is the skills to uh, rich text format which is what will appear. I want to make my own skill though. Handyman. And handyman is going to be a wisdom based skill. And use untrained. Yes. Now here's the important thing. Is some, some tags can be omitted. If I do not have a use untrained skill listed, that is the same as putting use untrained, yes. So I don't need to put that in there. If I leave a check out, that usually defaults to no. Type is the UI. It's also how skills can be referenced. As we saw, type dexterity would reference this skill. We can also give it additional 
types. We can call it handyman. And we can call it custom. And if I want to add anything, bonus skill type craft two. As soon as uh, you get the handyman skill, you're going to grant two to the craft. Now I want to put a pre-skill on it. So I want this only to apply when my handyman has five. That's five ranks. Okay, and that is how you enter a simple skill. Tune in next time for our next little broadcast.